the arts have become my passion because it's what I fall back on when it's just me, when the world is quiet and I'm able to get away. That's what I find my significance in. My uncle was an oil painter, and so um, growing up, he was somebody that I always looked up to, and whenever he had an art project that I could uh, join in on, he would always try to pull me into that. Uh, he would always talk about the beauty of it and how you can just really dive into it, how important it is to get up every day and paint first thing if you can. Like, that's the most important thing, and that's what it was to him. Um, and I just really loved having somebody uh, who loved me and knew me and saw something in me as well. This house has been in my family for years. My Uncle Barry lived here, I don't even know how long, at least 10 years, and he definitely worked on the house to make it more painting friendly, closing in a porch area and creating a studio that's ventilated. After he passed, I like stopped oil painting completely for probably like at least six months. I just couldn't do it. And I think there was definitely a connection with him and the love that he had for it. Um, and I just, just couldn't do it. And I think that was kind of part of the grieving process. But that's when I started doing all of these like larger scale charcoal drawings. Cause I was like, I have all these ideas and that's like the fastest way to get it on the page. And I think it was, it was hard, but restorative to enter his empty space and kind of literally like pick up the paintbrush where he was and kind of continue on, even though it's not his work within the family. It was very, I don't know, it was, I'm very happy that I get to occupy his space right now. It's very meaningful. So most recently, the past, I think, two years, I've been working on a series called The Pursuit of Escapism. Thinking about escapism just kind of was a constant thought in my head when I'm trying to kind of balance that with the reality that's not exactly satisfactory, but that I'm getting through. I don't know where like the idea of dragons begun, but I think they're like the most badass creature out there. I love how in so many different histories, they've been contextualized into a creature that's lonesome but ferocious. And so I've kind of taken the idea of a dragon and used it as like an alter ego. As an artist, it's easy to get burnout in what you do and question, why am I even doing this? But there's something about his memory. I feel like I'm not just paying for myself, but paying for him as well.